Coming up on Around Kern County, Public Works is heading out to communities across our area and holding proposed Universal Collection Area Public Information Meetings. We're sharing how to know if you're an affected resident. And the Kern County Fire Department is welcoming some new members to their team. How their new equipment is helping them lead the state in fire protection when Around Kern County starts now. Welcome to this week's Around Kern County. I'm your host, Ali Soper. Kern County Public Works is holding a series of upcoming proposed Universal Collection Area public information meetings as part of the Proposition 218 process. Affected property owners are encouraged to attend a meeting in their area and ask questions or provide comments and input. Universal Collection means all properties within the Universal Collection Area are required to have solid waste collection services provided by a private franchise garbage hauler. If you've received a mailer from Kern County Public Works, then that means you're located in one of these areas and will be subject to the proposed rate. The state of California passed a law, SB 1383, which uh, it has to do with dividing out your recyclables and your food waste from the, the landfills. So in doing so, the county has proposed uh, a, a system of uh, fees on the property taxes in order to get people to participate in this program. Meetings will kick off in Arvin on Tuesday, October 3rd and be held across our community through the month of November. To check out the calendar of meeting times and locations and to see if you're a property owner within one of these proposed universal collection areas please visit our website at kerncounty.com. The Kern County Fire Department is welcoming some very important members to their team. Anna Marie Odo has the story. KCFD is excited to have new equipment join their fleet that's ready to finally hit the road. The Board of Supervisors has invested nearly $8 million in critical equipment upgrades at the department to address the needs of their aging fleet. Seven new fire engines and one new fire truck were ordered for the department, with three arriving this week. These new engines are extremely important when it comes to keeping our community and firefighters safe. They're durable with high output diesel engines, carry 250 to 750 gallons of water, and are able to pump 1,500 gallons of water per minute. Here today we have a Type 3 fire engine which will be going to Fraser Park. We have a Type 1 fire engine that will be going to Oildale. And we have our newest truck that will be going to town. We have an aging fleet out in our community and that's why this is critically, critically important that we receive this new apparatus to replace that equipment. And if it wasn't for the phenomenal work that we have in our fleet services department, our mechanics that are keeping that aging fleet going until these, this new equipment arrives, you know, we would be in a, in a pretty difficult situation. They do a phenomenal job making sure the fire engines are always running, and this equipment here will be used for many years to come. It's gonna not only get the firefighters to the scene safely, but it's going to be op able to operate in an appropriate manner so that we can keep our community safe. We're thrilled KCFD has the tools needed to protect and serve our residents, a commitment that is invaluable to the safety of our community. For more information, just visit their website at kerncountyfire.org. And we're ending today with some good news about our local parks. This year, one of our county's top priorities is updating our recreational spaces to meet our community's needs. We've allocated a historic $49 million to park improvement projects across our county to increase the appearance, safety, and enjoyment of our green spaces. Most recently, our General Services Department completed needed upgrades in the 3rd District at the Kern River Campground and Panorama Park, some of the most heavily used areas in our community. The campground now has two combination restroom and shower buildings, along with new septic systems and upgraded ADA parking. And construction is underway at Panorama Park for a new play area with other additions coming in the near future. 
If you'd like to stay up to date with all of the parks improvement projects countywide, be sure to follow us on social media as we take you through this exciting journey in real time. And that does it for us on this week's Around Kern County. If you have a story you'd like to share, please visit kerncounty.com and fill out our Submit a Story form. We'll see you right back here next week.